Hello, trading is closed on January 11th, 2017. My last call said I was looking for lower prices. We had some price targets in the 2267 plus area. I said we probably get more than that. Well, here's the price target. You can see it was a support resistance level throughout the day, and they did print. There's a new MEJT target, most likely to be seen tomorrow, of 2266.75. That's my call, but it may not be tradable, as I think there's a chance we gap down to around that price when we open tomorrow. Let's uh, go over today's trade, show what the call is for tomorrow, and show how this recovery affects the long-term picture. Well, here was the software. Here is the software. This really shows how the MJT system should be used. You use the targets not when they are generated, but when they offer you good risk-reward ratios. When we opened, we had this as the, um, as the target price. We came close to it, but didn't hit it. It remains a target, but the support there is less likely to hold because it's been it's been tested once. MJT said this was a false move, and when we started dropping, the original target was hit. But MJT said not to get carried away. The target was a false move. When the market started to recover picture at this point I felt was still negative and the MJT system said that this price at the white dot would print and that this would be resistance area. This is a time when the system can be used if you're negative it gives you a reasonable price at which to enter a short position. We dropped later on during the day while we were dropping, and this price here seemed to be in reach. BJT said it was a false move, and then we rallied. BJT now says this rally is false, gives us a target of 2266.76, most likely to print tomorrow. Well, let's look at a few various things. Here's your stilt. Here's the stilt. Here's the diamond. You can call this the center of the diamond, or you can say it's just half a diamond. It doesn't really matter. It's a diamond on stilt. Here's the origin of the uh, left stilt. Typically, the, the first challenge of the left stilt holds. So that typically this will hold. You take two points, you don't know which two, but usually it's the middle. You take a Fibonacci ratio, it gives you a target for the move right at the close. We have a wall into the close which tends to gap down tomorrow. We have a close right at the high of the day, a Hobson close which tends to gap down tomorrow. Having a stilt like this and then a slanting upward move in general is not a sustainable pattern. Very often it turns into back-to-back -back diamond on stilts. If so, one likely possibility is we gap down tomorrow to form the middle of the diamond. Then, not necessarily the same day, but probably rally and then have the right stilt. The pattern doesn't have to go to completion but it's a likely scenario for what happens next. Now, what did this rally accomplish? Here's the consolidation at the high. Here's the retest of the consolidation. The interim high was 2275.49. Today's high and close 
was 227532. So it didn't accomplish anything. As far as I'm concerned, that high is still in place. There are a number of patterns of other people which have a price target almost exactly right at this high. So we have a rally to, but not through, a significant resistance area. If I'm wrong about this, I'll be very wrong because we'll gap up, overcome resistance, and probably keep going higher. But if I'm right, we should stop right here and very likely gap down at the open. And there's the target. Now, that's tomorrow's call. What about the longer term picture? Well, this was why I was negative. DeMarc's indicators indicated a market that was quite overextended. And as long as we were dropping in impulsive fashion, the odds favored working out of the overextended condition by dropping. Because we're now overlapping and not dropping in impulsive fashion, the odds have gone up that we're going to work out of the overextended condition by consolidating rather than by dropping. It isn't carved in stone, but even though I'm negative about tomorrow with a significantly lower target, I think today's action improves the longer term picture that we might just consolidate instead of have a big correction. It's too soon to be certain, but that's what I'm thinking at present. Call for tomorrow is absent to gap up over this high, which would kill a lot of things for me. Absent such a gap up, I look for lower prices, very likely starting with a very sharp move down. And that's today's call.